Legend of Total War here, and today I'll be playing some Total War Arena, which is now in open beta. Uh, I did play a fair bit of this in the closed beta a few months ago, and I quite enjoyed it back then. Now, the game has changed a little bit since then, no most notably that there's a new faction that's playable, which is Carthage, uh, which comes with Hannibal and Hasdrubal as playable commanders with their own unique unit roster. Now, before we get started on the match, I just want to give a special thank you to Wargaming for sponsoring this video. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Total War Arena and you like what you see in this video, check out the link in the description and uh, you can download this game for free. Don't forget to use the code that's also in the description, PLAYTWA, and you can play this game and get yourself a, a Wargaming account completely free of charge. Anyway, let's get into a match, and uh, I'll show you what this game's about. So I'm sure a lot of people watching this are pretty familiar with the game, but mostly this video is there for people who aren't familiar with it. Um, so I'll try and like under, uh, explain the game in its basics. You know, what do you do, how do you win, that kind of stuff. It's not a tutorial video, I wouldn't, wouldn't dare call myself good at this. I'd say I'm sort of like a middle range player. Not awful, not fantastic. My sort of, my preference is cavalry, but I decided to go with infantry. I want to try them out a little bit, because when I was playing in the closed beta, I focused very heavily on Scipio uh, with cavalry, which I really did enjoy playing as that. But um, I've been playing with uh, Germanicus with the infantry, and it's not so bad either. I want to give uh, elephants a go as well, but that's like tier six. It's like, it's a bit of work to get there. So what's he saying there? Players are writing something there. Capture okay, the enemy base or kill all enemy forces. So here are the three units that we get. Once my three units are dead, that's it, I'm out. Now that doesn't mean that we lose the battle. So I could technically sacrifice my entire squad here and we could still win. Victory is important, but it's also important that I do a good job. Oh look. We've got some elephants in here. Uh, so they're tier 6. I haven't actually seen... I've only just reached tier 5. And it didn't take me very long to reach it either. A couple of hours. So they want someone to defend up that way. I'd like to support this unit here as best I can because... I'm keen to see just how overpowered or underpowered the... Uh, or let's just see how the uh, elephants perform. Drawn first blood. Well, he doesn't want to move around. These are all human players as well, so it's not. This is not up against the AI. You can't. You can play against the AI in this, but uh, you can't do so after reaching tier four. I mean, you can always reach tier four, then go back to tier three. So they've got elephants as well. I've got a uh, pillar of my own. I'm just a little bit worried about like getting too clumped together because if they've got artillery, which it doesn't seem like it so far, that could really hurt us. Our team's done really well. They've, they've put down some some sharpened stakes, infantry stakes, so they they can't get through here so easily. I think this guy should pull back personally. Got some spearmen coming around here. And again, just to reiterate, these are all human players. I think. <laughs> and, oh, hang on. Jeez, what's going on over here? Throw some pillar into them. It says I did friendly fire, but you're always going to get a little bit of that. But I would have done a lot more damage to them than they did than I did to my ally. Ready? Aim! Fire! Ugh, damn. Wasted pillar. Well, now we're not winning. Oh Jesus. Let's get in here. Now this could actually be this could actually work out quite well for us. They've made an, a really aggressive push. They must have come around the flanks because the centers here, fine. This could work out really well in that. Defending the base gives us a 
bit of a defensive advantage, just not in terms of stats or anything, just because of the, the, the way it's structured. We could end up killing quite a few of their units this way. Let's just, let's just see how we go. The enemy's got a lot of cavalry. Keep my guys together because those cavalry could be a real big pain otherwise. Okay, we've still got another elephant out here. This is enemy elephant. Take him out. No, I didn't do very much damage. Let me get back inside. And still, and then. I think we, yeah, we got allies capping the enemy base over here. We might just win this, even though the. Uh... Well, I gotta, I gotta decap them. If you get in there, decap. So when you do damage to them, you, you decap their. Uh... Come on, come on, come on, slow pokes, get in there. Ah, oh, damn it! Real close battle there. But unfortunately, we were just a tad bit too slow. That was a really quick fight. So GG to my opponents there. Let's jump into another one and see if we can actually win it this time. No, hang on. Anyway, I'll just jump into oh, another next fight. Okay, so here we are at the Alpus Graia. Um, other players just loading in. It's a snow map. Now, I think one of the main uh, failings that I did on the previous match is not being aware of the surroundings. Too busy trying to explain the game. Didn't look behind me, but he capped us right in the rear. That was a really fast capping as well. Very aggressive push. So, this map here I don't think is quite so easy to just go right around and, and, uh, and cap it straight away. But I'll definitely want to keep an eye on it. So I think we're just waiting for this person here to to load in, and then it will start the deployment. There we go. Oh, they're drawing, they're drawing hearts everywhere. So let me just say, that's not what is usually drawn. But anyway, what do you want me to do? Does that mean they're going to bomb this? Alright. Also, I've got some deployables this time. can drop down some... Infantry stakes, but we have to decide where we're going to put them in. I might go into the base and start dropping around here, just just to make sure we don't get capped so easily this time. The enemy has drawn first blood. Then again, I might be needed on the front lines. Sometimes playing things too defensively is actually a bad thing. Again, you just have to sort of play fluidly and just see what the enemy is up to. And make it the best judgement call you can. You can't see everything, sometimes they hide and you're only one player in a group of ten. So sometimes, sometimes you can carry the team forward, sometimes it's just not enough. Ready the stakes? Stakes out! 
Ready the stakes? Very unlikely that they're... Mm, they might. Coming from the rear. So at the moment we're winning, but I'll jump into the into the fight in a bit. These stakes don't do friendly fire, so we don't have to worry about too much. Come over here. The main purpose of this is not to like kill the enemies that come in here, although it would be great if it does, but just to slow them down, giving us more time to get in here. I don't need to stay in here. Let's get moving. So hopefully the enemy don't even come down this way, but if they do, that'll slow them down. Alright, so the enemy are making a bit of a push down here. They chase off our archers. Let's come in and help them out. Okay, we've got guys coming around the side here. I'm going to come up this way. Cut them off. Now, they're rank 4 and I'm ranked 5. However, I've only just ranked up to 5. They could, You can upgrade your, your troops as they get experience. So it's possible that their troops might actually be able to match mine at this stage. Good shot off on the pillar. In terms, of, in terms of stats, we seem to be winning. They're giving up the high ground here. Tiny amounts of friendly fire. The enemy base will soon be ours. Time that charge right at the last second there. Leave no survivors. Swordsman. Swordsman. Okay, we've also got some dogs coming around here. Cut them down. Behold the wrath of Rome. He's pincered. They're making a big push this way. But don't worry, we if they've even they come over here, they'll be slowed down. Another thing is to constantly be using your abilities, because they are useful. Getting flanked over here. Need you to turn back around and flank the flankers. Before my morale breaks. The white line at the top is my uh, morale. He'll just have to hold the line for the time being. And then they're flanking me again over here. And I'll, f I'll double flank him. Oh, hang on, we're in the middle of a fight here. Oh my god, he's about to break. Not good. However, even if I don't do a good job, it seems like we've won. This is far too far for them to, to come back from this. So how do we go in this in total? I'm about mid-ranged. Let him get away. He's, he's not going to survive. It's one man. Don't worry about him. Let's keep going. Quick march. 
There's no way he's going to be able to capt uh, capture that with just one man. It's not going to happen. So it looks like they're going to play it defensively now, which makes sense. But they, the guys here should have waited for us. Sometimes your allies want to be a hero. You see that they're winning and you get overconfident. And then your troops route. Should have waited for us. I'm going to charge this so I can get there a bit faster. Because I'm the, I'm the one lagging the most behind. Don't want to get there and the battle be over. Got to bloody our swords up. Get some more experience so I can get to the next tier. I do find that as you tier up, you get more and more diverse armies you know, thrown at you. As I was playing in tier 4, we didn't we didn't see anywhere near this level of diversity. You didn't, didn't see you know, any dogs, didn't see as much cavalry. Most people were just using spears, archers, and swords. So the game gets a little bit more complex as you go through it. And if you're wondering, is there like a single player campaign thing? No, this is a multiplayer game. Much like PUBG, you know, sort of, you know. You go in, you have your match, you rank up, you have another match. If that's your thing, link in the description, get yourself a Wargaming account, play for free. If it's not your thing, no harm done, maybe this video will entertain you. No, oh, I'm down the, the bottom here. <laughs> oh, I didn't just didn't get enough chance to kill stuff. Quickly. Then again, like I said, I've only just reached tier five, so I'm at the lower end of tier five. Soldier. If I go back to tier four, Soldier. I'll have upgraded tier four units. I'd probably do a lot better. These guys Soldier. need to be upgraded a bit more. Maybe once we get some cap points in here, and get some more score. How's that going? Yeah, see, as we're capturing, we're gaining score, and my ranking's going up, because a lot of my allies are actually dead. When you're dead, you can't get any more score. Can I keep giving? Yes, I'm about halfway there. I just want to keep getting more score. <laughs> I'm more focused on trying to be get as high up on the ranking as I possibly can. Yeah, test you just wouldn't take any more damage from those archers. But we have captured the point. Good, I got to rank, you know, fourth highest. Very close to... Come on, let's see if we can overtake him. Good, number three. I'm pretty happy with that. Because once, once you're one, basically you just want to be the MVP. I just I don't even care if I win or lose, I just don't want to be down the bottom, you know. No one wants to be the what's that? The M the MLP. Oh hang on. The L the least valued player. <laughs> Whatever. So we get some rewards. I also got some rewards on the, the defeat. You always get something. But you just don't get as much. And here's my decorations. I routed four enemies. I didn't ambush at all. I eliminated eight units. Executed seven commanders. No way I killed that many. 
and uh, didn't do any nukes. Nukes is where you like do loads of damage all at once. Didn't demolish any siege equipment, didn't save any uh, allied units, and didn't decap enemy base. Anyway, that's the end of this video. There'll be more to come, and I'll see you next time.